look at this. You can't um, freeze the... Look, it undoes itself, right? <laughs> That's how they're fucking you. So, anyways, uh, yeah, as above is below, we can only go so high and we can only go so low, right? So, I believe it's 10 miles. And look, there's this... Look at the rocket. Right? We're not leaving here. And look what it's doing, right? It goes up, up, and then, bam, look, there's the ocean. They crash them in the ocean. Look, yeah, I mean, come on. And then uh, they say you can... Uh, it's got to be like 24,000 miles an hour to, to exit the atmosphere. And uh, let's see what the uh, land speeds are, right? <laughs> These are uh, rocket cars. And it's interesting. It, you know, that that's weird. Because a year ago, it was almost 700 miles per hour. No, it was faster than that. I, I can't remember. I don't remember 6,000, no. Look, the guy would... You can't put nobody in there. You'll kill them at, at that speed, right? But they're going to go 24,000 miles an hour? All right, um... Uh, what, what's that thing called? Hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, world speed manned rocket sled. There you go. Okay. All right, this guy. Let's see. The fastest man on Earth scorches down a metal track aboard a spectacular rocket sled at Holloman Air Force Base, New Mexico, in the first of a series of tests of pilot safety equipment. The speed of 421 miles an hour. You're, yeah. Lieutenant Colonel John Stapp, you're, you can't take the G-force. You, your face will rip apart. Well, these tests are over, but it's already the fastest ever traveled by man in any ground vehicle. The sled is powered it by... It just doesn't make any sense. ...over 50,000 pounds of thrust, a unique engineering accomplishment by Northrop Aircraft to study safety... 83G, right? I... <laughs> Look at that. Look at him. I mean, come on. All right, here we go. Damn, they took the sound off of this one. <laughs> ah, you sons of bitches. So, um, all right, so, um, um, damn. SpaceX plane uh, engine turns off. All right. Let me see if I can find this one. Black, it's in black and white. Uh, pilot. Hold on. All right. This is it, I think. Start building. Speaks to the rapid rate of The engine just shuts off. The, uh, blitz gravity pull it back down to earth here. See, he's, uh, he's coming down at a horrendous rate. He's so still right up to about... Uh, and look how fake this is. Mark. Yeah, the, the engine two cuts two. off because in says, a, it, there's no fire in space. Come on. As it is down. Down. And look at that fake-ass shit. Uh, rumble, uh, <laughs> I mean, come on. An ocean ain't gonna bend, right? It's the dumbest shit ever. Water's level. That, that's a, the camera doing that shit. Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful scene. So, you know, it takes forever to find anything anymore. Can you imagine the technology required uh, to bring... And then, oh yeah, check this one out. Picture of satellites. Look at this. Look how fake that is. They want to get these to hold on the damn time. Right, look at that. You see that? They're saying that that's what's up there. I mean, that's... But you don't see nothing. Right? Look at that. It's all fake. It's a computer image. All right? And, all right. Here, here, let's do this. So, 
there um, pictures of satellite I could image come on see it's uh, uh, it's like a sh shitty metal right with fragile components all right and like a trash can metal right you see this thing right there it, it's ridiculous it's in the thermo thermosphere what's thermo temperature uh no it ain't gonna tell you now it, it's smelting that's what it is okay smelting is liquefying Anyways, yeah, smelting, it's, they melt, right? That thing, would they would liquefy, put it that way, all right? So, uh, hold on. So, you know, uh, satellites, and that's how it gets so far, and blah, blah, blah. The first one was, um, signal was sent, radio signal, 1920, right? And it was, reached Hawaii, okay? That's, in, you know... Come on, because it's bouncing off the, the firmament. All right, here we go. Um, you see that they find this in only like one place in a desert, right? Libyan glass. <laughs> That's from the dome. Look at that. And then, um, picture of the emerald tablets. All right. This stuff is like kryptonite. Look at that shit, right? It's made of a stub since they have no idea, right? You can't burn it, crush it, none of it, right? It doesn't scratch nothing. And that's the original language, right, of the angels. So what do they do? They put one of these things. Emerald tablet placed on the Hedron Collider. <laughs> I mean, we got nuts. <laughs> so, you know, they passed the particle beam through it, right? <laughs> I bet you they don't show the picture now. Well, there it is, see? Yeah, they put that thing... See the beam of light? At, right through it. So, uh, you know, um, so, uh, you know, you, you come, like I said, they, they, uh, how much time is it? Shit. Um, you come out your mother's water, right? That's what the, they operate off of, you know, um, water is a gate. All right. Let's see. Um, and then let's see what they show us here. So, you know, uh, you come out your mom's womb, right? You're spun out, upside down, okay? <laughs> Where, you know, so you came out the gate, right? And then your eyes are another gate, all right? So the, um, you know, the uh, light, the information passes through the lens, which is water, all right? It comes upside down, right? Where then it's, re it's reversed, where you see it normal. So, uh, you know, and then, you know, um, uh, I can't remember none. Uh, portals, uh, water. Uh, anyways, so I, I can't waste too much time. It takes too long to upload it. So, um, then, um, you know, uh, the firmament, right, the, the stars and all that, if, if you look, they're like spiral, right? The galaxies are all spiral, right? They're, they're floating in water, just like the, the Bible says, where, you know, it's like sand almost. Um, you know, when the sand in the ocean, it's floating in the water and then it crashes against the, the waves, you know, against the shore. Well, that's the same thing. It's... You know, the stars and all these, it's all just like portals crashing against the firmament. 
Uh, let me see. Hold on. All right, you already know. You know, it's spiral, right? They're, they're tiny. You see? Just, it all tells you. So, uh, let me think what's next. Hold on. All right, I mean, you got to be a complete dumbass to believe this shit, right? Look at it. Look at that, right? <laughs> it's laughable. And then look, there's like, um, there's rivets, right? There's, um, uh, joints where they connect together, right? It's not going to happen, right? Picture of the uh, submarine that went to the Mariana Trench. All right. The thing, it, it's like two feet thick, right? All right. Now, because that's seven miles under, right? So, space is six to the power of ten, which is like um, 420 miles deep, right? It ain't shit going up there, especially with the space shuttles and rockets. They got ribbits and shit, right? And seals. Come on. I mean, it's laughable. And then, uh, uh, scientist passes light through, um, absolute, okay. Russian scientist passes light through absolute zero and it slows to one miles per hour. <laughs> but to uh, slow speed light down to two miles per hour. All right, there you go. All right. Man drinks radiation. Let me see if I can find this one. Yeah, this guy was like in the, in, in the 60s, right? He built the nuclear power plants and everything. And he's like, it's all bullshit, right? It, <clears throat> They started, you know, uh, taxing it and everything. There you All right. Because, you know, um, yeah, he would go to colleges and everything. Swimming in pools. And then he's like, you know, one day they regulated it. It was crazy. That's how. <laughs> All right. So, uh, man swims in uh, radiation pools. Right, yeah, the guy's like swimming in the money, right? At the, you take a swim at the nuclear power plant. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous, right? And they, uh, 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 if a bomb goes off, it'll take a million years, right? For everything to grow. Picture of Hiroshima today. Look, it's like beautiful. Just... Right? Look at that. Oh, there's... Uh, uh, right where it happened. Right? There's trees growing and flowers. <laughs> right? Now, a, a million years. All bullshit, right? So, uh... Um, okay. Alright, I, I can't find it. The guy, he talks about how he... He was in a submarine and he went and it just bounced off off this thing. It's a lake under the ocean. They took it down though. I can't find it nowhere. Here it is. Cool. That was luck. Over the water, 
in this lake and tried to defend it. Bounced off. All right, you heard that? All right. Uh, all right, so um, Russia dug the, in the 80s, dug the world's deepest hole, right? For 10 years, they dug and they got um, uh, almost about 10 and a half, I mean, nine and a half miles deep, right? So um, uh, they couldn't go any deeper. That's why I'm saying it's 10 miles up and 10 miles down, as above, as below, like it says. So um, there it is, right? So for another 10 years, they dug, and they got like two inches, right? They never hit the, uh, the actual 10-mile mark. So they stuck the microphone down there, right? And this is what they heard. Hold on. Come on. 1970s, when Soviet scientists wanted to learn more about the Earth's crust. Over two decades, they... Yeah, we, 10 miles is it. So that's what they heard when they stuck a microphone down there. And that's special. And that's sweet. So, um, all right, so, uh, um, let me go to this. Dual Taurus Field. Taurus Field. Bam. All right. Get out of here. That's what we're on, right? You see the apple, right? It's that everything's float here. It's dual torch field system, yin yang. All right. It, it, all the energy, everything flows like that. The tree of life. The water circulates, right? Your body, the energy, right? All circulating. And let me see if I can find the one. See, it's flat like that, right? It's the apple shape. You see that we're in there? And it's, it, it, it works. That's us. So, uh, Oh, let me think what's next.